we go. Welcome back to Morgan's at the Leash. Melissa here. As you see, I'm in a different surrounding. I'm down by the splitter and the wood bunker. Uh, and afterwards with the Morgans, I was with Mike on a video and we were looking at all the wood they split, meaning uh, Mike and our son Levi split up a bunch of wood and said it was like an hour and a half that they split it. And I'm like, Psh, shouldn't have taken you that long. And he's like, Melissa, what do you mean? And I did climb up on the wall of the bunker and noticed that it was a much larger pile than I saw from the front. But I got some comments on that video saying, hey, Melissa, that wasn't very nice. You know, Mike works hard. There's a lot of Mike lovers out there. I think that's great. Um, I'm married to him. I love Mike. But uh, it's just how our marriage goes. Like, uh, I give him a run and he gives me a run. And uh, that's actually how we keep going. It, it's, uh, I guess, a sixth sense of humor I have. I don't know. But I'm down here to take it on the challenge because so many people are like, he works so hard and you have no idea. Blah, blah, blah. I just love how much you love Mike and want to defend him, that's great. So I'm going to put my money where my mouth is and I came down to check things out before Mike got down here and uh, I don't know. You may see this video and you may not because it depends how things work out, but uh, I would like to apologize. All right, so here you go. A little closer look. Let me move the camera. This actually kind of reminds me, do you ever go to like a Halloween party or, you know, some sort of fun family? holiday party that uh, has a jar of like jelly beans or you know cracker some sort of game that you have to guess how many are in them so you start doing the math of the circumferences this and there's like this many candy corns and it's this high well actually I'm awful at math so I never win at those games but uh it's similar so let's look okay, so you're seeing like there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay fourteen across one two three four five high and then I walk this way, and there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve this way. Um, yeah, and then you're going back this way. Okay, so do the math. And uh, what do you think? Okay, Mike's down here. We got everything warmed up. Do you have anything to say, Mike? Are you ready to go, Melissa? Yes, I am ready. There's a lot of wood here. Mike. Some big stuff, too. How uh, long do you think this will take, for real? 50 minutes. How long? 50. 50. 50 minutes. Don't slow me down on those controls, Mike. 50 minutes, huh? What are you guessing? I don't know. One hour straight. Huh. Straight up, one hour. Okay. Let's see. Let's go. Here we go. Do you think I'm in over my head? Maybe I guessed wrong. Thank you. 
know, we'll see. I might have to start on the controls, but I do think I'm faster loading than Mike is. So I have a lot of stuff up there. Just so I can come over and talk for a minute. I think I'm alright with 50 minute gas, so. Fun 
of protected area of wood at the top. So I had to climb up there and uh, knock it out. So what was happening is it wasn't falling out through too many crumbled pieces. But That is a workout for sure. I am sweating. Your face is a little red, Melissa. Yeah, that's definitely a good workout. I do have to say a couple things. Um, let me move the camera so we can both be in frame here in front of this Wolf Ridge splitter. This is a great splitter. Um, it's fast, don't you think? It is. We just, if you tell us, 54 minutes, right? 54. I initially said 53. I was going off my own watch and then I forgot your timer. And I did say, I don't know how well you can hear because I was talking into the camera while the splitter and the conveyor were running, how well you can hear that I had to, we had to climb up there. There was just a, too much congestion at the top. It yeah, it got clock. wound up at the yeah. end. Yeah, and that's understandable. But by the time we got the thing and got climbed up there, I and would say- And at one time, a piece got wedged in the end of the conveyor, yeah. stalled it on. Yeah, it shuts off. Started up, reverse it. That happens every once in a while, but not too often. No, just when I'm here and I'm doing a timing. So, I have to say, I think I was spot on. I would say 50 minutes, so you know, by the time we messed with that. Well, when we did it the other day, we had to mess with it too. Oh, you did? So it's fair, Melissa. Let's not talk fair. But you know, I do want to say, I learned a couple things about Mike. Um, he wanted to re-split a lot of pieces. We did that the other day too, Melissa. Really, Mike, really? And then I noticed that all of a sudden you were like, oh, I can't reach across that. I'm like, I've seen you reach across at a smorgasbord from extra gravy. I do not believe that you were like, oh, I can't reach that piece. Okay, I'm probably going to get hate about that. You think I was trying to <laughs> purposely move slow? Yeah, I do. You did no. everything but stop to tie your shoes. No, I need to. The thing is, Melissa, I'm, I'm trying to do this safe. You know what I mean? There's no sense being in a big hurry if somebody gets hurt. Right? Especially you. You're exactly right, but I was safe. I think I did great and uh, moved did, it fast. Really Let's check out the load. Yeah. All right, actually, that's a lot of wood. Yeah, we might have done a little bit more the other day, but that's a lot oh, of wood. Oh, stop! Listen, come here. I want Mike to step in screen with me. Um, well, I just, Mike, I just want to say I'm sorry. I don't like being on camera. What? I want to say I'm sorry. 
I am sorry that you and Levi are not as fast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're brutal. All right, here's the lid. Look at that. That's a lot of wood. It's a lot of wood and it's a little workout. So we got some cherry, maple, and a little bit of red oak. That is beautiful. Mm. You can't smell it, but trust me, it smells good. Well, mixed with some sweat. Okay, so here we are at the splitter. Just to give an example, this is my. This is the piece. Yeah. Runs it back through. And this is what we're ending up with. I'm like, are you kidding me? Come on. It's not true, Melissa. Yeah, and then the reach was like. Oh. Listen. Okay, as you see, the most of the leaves are on the ground. The trees are empty and it's still archery season. Mike's gonna be out hunting shortly, so I should probably talk a little softer. The walk out here, these leaves are crunchy. Um, Mike has a walk out in the woods, seriously. It's a skill. He can walk so quietly out to his tree stand. It's incredible, I don't know how he does it. Actually, he will drive out in the side-by-side, -side, and the deer are okay with like a chainsaw running, a tractor running, the splitter running, the side-by-side -side running, like all those sorts of things, I guess make some sort of background noise to the deer. They're like, Psh, whatever. You hear crunching or footsteps, they're instantly like spooked. So it's interesting. It's, uh, I think hunting is a skill as well. And I've been hunting since I was 12. So I, uh, I like to do it. Mike, Mike and I, um, we kind of have to split it. And uh, whoever stays with Hunter, you know, it's usually me and then Mike goes out and hunts. And then if Mike gets a deer, then he will stay with Hunter and I can go out and hunt. But actually I was gonna give you an update from Hunter. The other day we had a doctor's appointment. I'm showing you a little bit of that video. Welcome back today, uh, Hunter has a doctor's appointment. So anyone new here, welcome. I'm Melissa, you may have seen me from Outdoors with the Morgans and this is our oldest son, Hunter. And we are headed to a doctor's appointment. It's kind of nice during COVID we were able to have video appointments online and that worked great for Hunter. In fact, some of his appointments can still be online, but this one, we actually have to go in person. So we're gonna bring you along. done with Hunter's doctor's appointment. If you have any experience with individuals with autism that are nonverbal, you might imagine how that appointment went. <laughs> it went fine. Every time Hunter felt that it should be over and we should leave, he would just express that. Okay, we're home. All went well at Hunter's doctor's appointment. I, um, I don't like to say too much in front of him. And uh, all was well. He had to see his doctor for some updates for his medicines. And you know, before COVID, Hunter was in a day program. He went five days a week, Monday through Friday, from like eight to four. And he was with other individuals with autism, some other physical disabilities. Um, they had lots of activities they did. Uh, I wouldn't say field trips, but uh, what did they call it? Just like out in the community, they do outings. And he liked it. He had an aide that worked with him. Um, he had a couple, actually. You know, the staffing was like, you know, okay, uh, this person took a job somewhere else. So Hunter would have to get someone new, but it went, it went well, but then COVID kind of shut everything down and he was home and then he couldn't go back unless he'd wear a mask and he wasn't wearing a mask and you know, that whole thing. So I just want to update you. We've become, Hunter's Day program. He's home with us every day. He's our supervisor. We share in plenty of the videos or give you updates on our Instagram and our Facebook of like Hunter's, you know, doing this and this, and he's keeping us on task. He likes to have an agenda. He likes to know the schedule of what we're doing that day or that week. And a lot of times he is there to show us that, you know, <laughs> this needs to be done 
he's really on top of laundry. Um, he likes to put clothes in the washing machine and then put them in the dryer. And then from the dryer, he likes to bring them to me uh, usually. And if I'm not home, then someone else. But yeah, and then he wants them folded. And he was, we were teaching him that he could fold them, but it wasn't the same. And I found myself refolding all the clothes. It was just easier for bring them to me and I'll fold them. And then he puts them away. He delivers them like, you know, my clothes and dad's clothes go to our bedroom. His clothes he puts away. Um, then he takes the laundry basket downstairs. Um, he helps packaging and shipping with the fire starter. He helps Levi do that. Um, and Levi's great with them. It keeps them, uh, I want to say Levi keeps them on task, but actually it's no joke. Hunter keeps us on task. So yeah, that doctor's appointment went well. And I didn't want to talk too much about Hunter in front of Hunter because it's just something that we try not to do. I think one thing that we do talk about our schedules of who's going where and what, now that Eva's in college and she's staying at college and not at home, we don't have her coming in and out as much. It's just us. And I think he likes that because if Mike goes somewhere, Mike will give him a ride or you know take him with him. And I don't take Hunter as much. Um, Usually I'm going to like a church meeting or uh, my hair appointment, a dentist appointment. I'm just trying to think some other places I run. I just kind of don't run them as often. I do run them into like grab a Subway if we're going to get Subway sandwiches for lunch or dinner. But yeah, so that's an update. Um, he's doing well. They checked his vitals and they weighed him and you know, his blood pressure, all that is good. Um, other than his autism, being nonverbal, having epilepsy, and a few other things that I'm not going to discuss right now. He's pretty healthy other than that. So he's on the go. I would love for him to wear like a, like an Apple watch or like a Fitbit or um, a whoop, you know, those sorts of things that monitor and track your progress for your steps, your blood pressure, your sleep, like all those things. I would really like to uh, get one on him. He would not leave it on. I know he wouldn't. Oh gosh, when Hunter was younger and we'd go to like an amusement park, I'd take the kids to like Idlewild, Kennywood, um, those sorts of places, Sandcastle. Those were like all the parks that, you know, kids want to go to. And oh my goodness, they'd put this bracelet on him. And I'm like, hey, he's not gonna leave that on. They're like, well, he has to. I'm like, yeah, but he's not. So <laughs> they're like, oh, I'll put it on tight or I'll put it on his ankle. I'm like, okay, but he's still gonna rip it off. And like, no sooner did we pay and get through the booth, it'd have it off and I'd be turning around and going, here it is, what do we do now? So, and they're like, just carry it. I'm like, I told you. But the kid does not like wearing, uh, he doesn't wear a hat and he doesn't like wearing like bracelets or tags of any sort. He just, it's, yeah, he, he's determined to get it off. So many of you might feel the same. I can understand over certain things, but you know, if you want to enjoy the amusement park, I'm like, okay, I'll leave it on. Oh, and another thing I want to talk to you how about the time change? Oh my boy. So this past weekend, we changed our clocks an hour back. You know, in fall, it's fall back. And it's getting dark at 5.30. Well, Monday night, Sunday night was the first night. And we had my family over. So Hunter was involved in visiting with Grandma and Pap. And his sister was home, you know, sort of thing. Then Monday night... We found him in bed at 5.30. <laughs> now it's dark out. It's kind of like the chickens. They're on their roosts. We're roosting in the coop at 5.30 when it's dark. Sun goes down. So uh, we're like, where's Hunter? We found him in bed. Mike gets him out of bed and gives him a Diet Pepsi. Now I've mentioned before, I don't love for Hunter to just drink pop because he's obsessed. He loves it and he would drink it nonstop. And I don't love the idea that he's just gonna drink pop all the time. Um, don't worry, he gets his water intake, but Mike wakes him up and gives him a Diet Pepsi. So he's like, that should keep him up. I'm like, Ugh. so we can't be giving him a Diet Pepsi every night when it's 5.30. Last night, Mike was out of town. I was <laughs> with Hunter doing some other things and I'm like, I can't believe it's 5.30, it's dark out. And then I'm like, where's Hunter? And sure enough, he was in bed. I left him in bed. I left him sleep. Ah, oh, the only bad part was, uh, Four, I'm gonna say five minutes to four this morning, Hunter was up, ready to take on the day. I'm like, hello, it's still dark out. So yeah, we did a couple of things. He actually did go back to his room for a little bit. And then 
uh, definitely by five o'clock, we were up and at them, everybody, dogs, all of us. But we are early risers. Mike gets up early and does his editing for Outdoors with the Morgans videos. Um, look at that, just leaves falling, don't you love it? And I um, am trying very hard to do more videos. So I hope you enjoy this one. I had a lot of fun. Uh, splitting all that wood was a workout. And um, I just, I owe Mike and, and the Mike fans, the Mike lovers, an apology. So, okay. I want to say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm shooting my mouth off. I'm sorry that I said that was a lot of wood and you could have done it in a faster amount of time. Um, so I put my money where my mouth is and finds, I come to find out that I'm sorry that you're not as fast as I am. <laughs> no, I'm glad there's Mike lovers out there, but Mike and I seriously just, um, you know, are fun with one another, pushing each other. And uh, that's just, just the way it is. Maybe uh, you could take it with a grain of salt that we're just having, having some fun with each other, razzing each other. But I do want to thank you all for being here, watching my videos. Make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you on the next one. Speak of the, <laughs> Speak of the devil. I went out the trail to do this part of the video. I come back, and Hunter was waiting for me. He's a taskmaster. I probably have laundry to fold. <laughs>